Yo, it's that Brunez. Dropping another review on y'all. And this time we'll be gonna be doing a review of the BAM, the Mini Turtle Captain America case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, this is a cool looking case. I've been waiting for this for a while because it's rare that they would make cool looking cases like this but with the kickstand on it because I love having the kickstand on my case because I watch lots of movies, lots of YouTube. You know, which is what you guys are on right now watching this. I do a lot of that. And, you know, on the fly, I could just pop up the kickstand, set it up. Got my little mini movie, movie screen going on there. So stuff like this is perfect. Perfect. The case that I had on here before was my clear case. Bam. Bad boy's all dirty and everything now. But it served its purpose. Had the little kickstand going on there. You know, I like stuff like that. So that's why I'm excited about this because it's rare that they make you know cool looking designs like this with a kick can on it so enough about that let's let's get into this bad boy so like i said it's by mini turtle there's your um barcode there samsung galaxy note you know what is for the note 5 uh america shield hero it's captain america boom you know just shorten it up for the barcode designed by mini turtle in california american made you know buy american shit buy american shit all right Wild accessory, think mini turtle. Um, oh yeah, you know, it just bring me bring me to a point. Everything I review is usually made in China. This is rare that I got something that's actually made in America. You know, so oh look, it comes with a stylus. Got some information on there. Y'all, you know how I do. I ain't reading it. You can uh, pause it and read it. Let you know they have uh, Facebook and Twitter, so you can follow them if you like. So enough about that. Let's get into this bad boy. Take this bad boy out, bam, like that. Just a regular old rubber stylus, you know, rubber tip stylus, piece of metal, you know, generic. Served its purpose though, I guess. And this is supposed to simulate the the Note 5 being in it. Oh, look, it even has this uh, screen protector. I don't need it. I literally just did a review before this putting a screen protector on there so but here's an extra one if I decide to use it I'll have it bam look at that this is one of those uh, the plastic ones though it's not a tempered I like the tempered glass so I'll fall out to the side for now don't need that and this is the case bam nice rubber on the inside reinforced okay rubber reinforcement going around the whole case like that you got your cutouts for your uh, your buttons so you can press your buttons stuff like that you got your hole up top for your uh, microphone got your cutouts on the bottom for your stylus and your charging and your speaker and then the part that I like the most on the back got the kickstand baby It'll pop out how does this bad boy open up Okay, just like that. Bam. Kickstand. So you can set it like that. So you can set it vertically. That's all I like about this one because the other one I can only do it horizontally. So this one you can do it vertically and horizontally. It's more stable horizontally, but in a pinch you can do it, certainly do it vertically. Got the nice Captain America logo on the side. I'm a huge Captain America fan. Those who know me know I like Captain America and Star Wars. Star Wars uh, mainly Stormtroopers. So... So, that being said, let's get my phone up in this bad boy. See what we're working with. Got my fresh phone right here. Just put a new screen protector on this bad boy. Tempered glass. So, I imagine this is how we do it first. You put the rubber on first. <laughs> that's what she said, right? Right, guys? Fellas. Fellas. That's what she said, right? All right. Put the rubber on first. And then that's what it looks like with the rubber portion on it. And then... We slide it in <laughs> again. <laughs> Put the rubber on first, and then slide it in, right? We slide it in our uh, the other portion of the case right there, and then bam, that's what she looks like. The only thing I don't like about this is it makes it look uh, a little thicker, which is fine, I guess, it protects your phone. But like this one right here, it had a low profile and it was a little thin, 
So, I mean, you can protect your phone, but it doesn't make it as thick. It's not that much thicker, if you can see that. But, you know, when you're holding your hand, it makes a difference. Um, in the picture that I saw online, it, it certainly looked, you know, thinner than this. But, I mean, by no means is this, like, really bulky, like an outer box or anything like that. And it, it looks it looks really good on my phone. Let me tell you, it really does. Um, don't, another th thing, if I have to make a complaint, is it's hard to get the kickstand out, which that could be a pain in the butt sometimes. There's got to be an easy way, easier way to do it. Why is it so hard to get the kickstand out? I don't understand. I feel like I'm gonna break. I feel like I'm gonna break the phone trying to take the kickstand out. Well, obviously you see the buttons work fine. Make sure I'm not on anything. Okay, the buttons most certainly work. Okay. Why is the kickstand coming out? I don't want to bust it up. Wow, that bad boy's in there. Why is it so hard for it to come out? Hmm. Well, that's what it looks like on my phone in portrait mode. That's what it looks like in uh, landscape mode. So it most certainly does the job. Um, I like the way this looks. I like the way this feels in the hand. Again, that's what she said. But um, like I said, the main complaint is that I, there's a way to make this a little bit thinner, just a little bit, and to make it easier for the kickstand to come out. I understand that you don't want it to come out too easy because you don't want to just flop it open and it breaks. But then to try to pry it open, it feels like I'm going to break it trying to get it open. Like, I don't understand why it's, it's so hard to open. And now it feels like it's not lining up right. Okay, now it is, but... I'm scared to like close it all the way now. See, now that bad boy's like locked in there, and it's closed. But like, next time I go to open it, it feels like I'm gonna freaking. Okay, it's definitely more secure on this side than on the other. There we go. This is just got to pry it open. That's just how it is, I guess. So, I want to use it. Bam, just like that. So, um, well, I made my, uh, this has been the review of the Mini Turtle Captain America Galaxy Note 5 case. I have to say for the price, what did I pay for it? Uh, um, I think like 10 bucks I paid for it. For the price, it's worth it. If you can get by the, you know, the fact that it's a little hard to open up, you really gotta, really gotta pull this bad boy to get it open. Um, if you can get by that, then this is perfect for you. But at least you don't have to worry about it popping open, you know, by accident. Um, and it definitely protects your, oops, here we go. <laughs> Hit the weather port portion. It definitely protects your phone. So, with that being said, I'm Dat Brunez. This has been the official review of the Mini Turtle Captain America Galaxy Note 5 case. And I'm out this piece.